Hey there, welcome back to High Infidelity, the best channel for cheating stories. Like and subscribe to the channel for more spicy stories. Now, let's get into today's story video. I hired a PI to find out my sister was having an affair. I am a female private investigator, now based in North America, who was born in a European nation to a very tiny hamlet with a population of fewer than 20,000 people. My brother and I were born nine years apart from each other. My brother and his wife have been together for more than 8.5 years. They are both in their 40s and do not have children. This occurred around four years ago, before to the pandemics. They are both engaged in professional activities. He is a lawyer who works in a well-known cabinet, and she is a practitioner certified nurse who works in the same cabinet. Both have achieved great success. They had just purchased their first house, and she has been off birth control for at then four months. Everything seems to be going quite nicely. They were anticipating the birth of their first child towards the end of December 2016. Suddenly, my brother called me on a private phone that was not listed and that was outside of his workplace and home. I was taken aback when I learned that he had requested my assistance in investigating his wife. I took some time off from work and traveled back to my hometown, where I checked into a motel that was close to her place of employment upon my arrival. She had been pregnant for roughly 14 weeks at the time of the interview. My brother revealed to me her job routine at the hospital and at the school. She works as a nursing instructor for a few hours each week. Ordinarily, they get home about 19.00 and leave for work at 6.30 a.m. It was many months ago, from 6 to 9, that she began working longer hours for her lessons, departing early on three to four occasions each week. The first red flags have been raised. Her friends are her first and most important interests right now, despite the lack of closeness. The second red flag has been raised. When she found out she was pregnant, she sobbed for the rest of the weekend. This is also a red flag. Although he attempted to address the sobbing matter with her, she was effectively giving him the silence treatment instead. With his agreement and authorization, I began my inquiry by checking their phone bill, bank transaction, bar, GPS put in their vehicles, phone, house camera, and other related documents and information. I conducted a 14-day investigation of her and discovered nothing unusual. My brother and I were debating whether or not to put a halt to everything. I received an extra 15 days off, which I used to see my former high school classmates. During a lunch break, a group of women were talking about a nurse who they suspected of having an affair with a friend's husband, who was away on a business trip and would return the following Sunday. I genuinely inquired as to his identity and the nature of the task he was engaged in. He was representing a huge medical supply company, and he was able to acquire his whole identity. I waited an hour before asking the females whether they knew the name of the girl in order to avoid suspicion. They were unaware of her identity, but they were aware of her moniker, which was similar to my sister-in-law's. The information I received was sufficient for me to confirm his return flight and travel arrangements. My brother called to tell me that my sister-in-law was happy. He also extended an invitation to me for a dinner party at his house the following weekend. I informed him that I had a few items to verify in my inquiry and that I would contact him back. I also sought her day-to-day -day routine, which included any unexpected changes in schedule. My brother instantly told me that she would be attending a medical conference from Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, and that she would return on Sunday afternoon. As a result, she was called upon to fill in for a sick colleague and was required to attend the conference. On Wednesday afternoon, she boarded a train to a bigger city around 625 kilometers away. Unbeknownst to my brother, I was on the same train as him, snapping photos and recording short video clips. After changing clothes and applying makeup in the bathroom 15 minutes before arriving at the office, she was ready to see her assistant principal app. I was on the verge of not recognizing her. I was taken aback. At the railway station, the lovers were not shy about kissing, groping, and other forms of affection. They strolled together to an upscale hotel in the area, which is not far away, in order to confirm the cheating spouse. I edited a photo and sent it to a buddy, who promptly verified the cheater and told me to return later with additional information for the OW. I am successful in obtaining a room at the same hotel. Their names and room numbers were placed on a Do Not Disturb list for a few days in order to accommodate housekeeping and room service needs. I was able to get a room on the same level as the previous one. Because to the angle of the building, I was able to view them while they were on the balcony, still dressed in their bathrobe. When I arrived for dinner in the hotel lobby on Thursday night, I saw them all dressed up and waiting to be seated, 
with his hand resting on her small bum. She was beaming from ear to ear, and she was breathtakingly lovely and appealing. Everyone had their gaze fixed on them. The restaurant was practically filled, and just a few tables were available next to them. We were able to see one other with considerable ease. We were gazing at each other, but she didn't seem to recognize me, though she did seem to be staring at me at moments. I was simply gazing at my meal, my phone, and the videos I was filming. I'm not sure what she was thinking since she didn't recognize me right away. We had not seen each other in the previous 3.5 years. My hair was styled in a variety of colors and lengths, and my clothing was something that I would never wear in a regular situation if the opportunity presented itself. At the conclusion of the lunch, we all boarded the same elevator, and a few seconds before reaching the fifth level and the opening of the door, I began singing a song that I and my brother used to sing in unison. She was gazing at me with a puzzled expression, so I was the one who stepped out of the elevator first and hurriedly walked to my room. I got three missed calls from her because I had taken a shower that was too cold. She was constantly in possession of my phone number. She had left a message for her to call her back at a later time. I had enough material to provide my brother with proof of her deceitful business practices. I contacted my brother and gave him an update on the situation, and I will be returning to his location on the next train that comes by. He needed some photos or documents right away so that he could begin the divorce process. My brother sent her images of them kissing on the balcony in their bathrobes, as well as pictures of the lovebirds meeting at the train station and strolling to the hotel holding hands. With the photographs, there is no opportunity for wiggle room or interpretation. I had 90 minutes to catch a train back home, so I packed my belongings and boarded the train. After the train left the station, I had the feeling that someone was gazing at me. Sure enough, they were both sat around seven or ten seats apart from each other. I photographed them while they were still kissing and emailed them to my brother and a buddy with a time stamp on them. My brother, oh, and a friend were all waiting for them at the railway station when they finally showed up. It was a complete disaster. O.W. was expecting a child around the same time as my sister-in-law. At the railway station, none of them spoke a word to each other. My brother and I decided to take a taxi back to our house. Her items were being packed at the time of writing. He sent her a text message alerting her of the location of the store where they would be shopping. The SDI slash STD test came back negative. AP was the biological father of the unborn kid, not him. It took four months to complete the divorce process. He divorced her based on the adultery provision in the divorce agreement. Two years later, he met a wonderful lady who became his wife. There is still no kid. I am still employed by the same legal firm. His ex-wife did not get alimony sense in Europe. If you can prove adultery, the cheater loses everything, including his or her legal and financial rights. The responsibility for child support does not fall on his shoulders. In a modest apartment with her kid, she prepares to leave the country by herself. Her AP was able to reunite with his wife. She has contacted my brother on several occasions, requesting an open dialogue to explain herself, but he has always declined, believing she would never be sincere. She wanted to reconcile with him but he was adamant about not having any discussions with her. Those were his last words to her as they approached the train station. The divorce petition will be served next week. According to AP, the relationship between EAs and PA lasted around two years. His ex-wife did not get alimony sense in Europe. If you can prove adultery, the cheater loses everything, including his or her legal and financial rights. The responsibility for child support does not fall on his shoulders. In a modest apartment with her kid, she prepares to leave the country by herself. Her AP was able to reunite with his wife. She has contacted my brother on several occasions, requesting an open dialogue to explain herself, but he has always declined, believing she would never be sincere. She wanted to reconcile with him, but he was adamant about not having any discussions with her. Those were his last words to her as they approached the train station. The divorce petition will be served next week. According to AP, the relationship between EAs and PAs lasted around two years.